here today in Swanage Bay, Dorset, on the south coast of England, on board Landfall. Landfall was the first of the Kim Holman Landfall class catches, built for Claude Wistock of Wistock's Boatyard on Woodbridge on the east coast of England. This boat, Landfall, gave her name to the class. Here on the foredeck, 12 volt anchor windlass, operated with foot buttons on deck and the staysail boom. And here she has a short stubby bow sprit with a Genoa and a roller furling system. Spare anchor lashed on deck. Here looking back along the deck with her yacht laid swept teak deck over a plywood sub deck. Coach roof is all painted, done by the previous owners in their time cruising in the tropics. Here is the track for the staysail boom, which gives one sheet going back to the cockpit, making it very easy to tack sheet in and out. Looking here, back along the starboard side deck, and see everything has a place. It's a boat that's been cruised in previous ownership over 15 years and many thousands of miles. And so everything has been worked out and given a place on the boat. Here's the raised doghouse and the spray hood which gives protection to the cockpit. Looking down into this spacious, deep, safe and very well thought out cockpit. Forward end for the crew, very sheltered and the helm separated from the rest of the crew back aft. You've got a gas locker here on the aft deck under the blue cover. Original fit, uh, bronze fittings and so on and a uh, wind vane self steering on the transom. Your wheel steering with your instruments to hand. Here, moving forward, you can see the spray hood, how much it shelters the cockpit. And you've got the boom gallows here across the top of the companion hatch, just to take the boom. Another little feature, making it much easier to sail shorthanded. Moving forward past the doghouse. And you can see here these split bamboo canes around the standing rigging rather than plastic tubing which is more common again nice little touch looking on the foredeck fore hatch here above the double berth down below which you'll see a bit later on it's got an aluminium pole for the spinnaker Here we are looking up the main mast, quite heavily rigged, twin spreaders, cap shrouds and intermediates. Moving back aft here, life raft stowed on the uh, coat roof deck. And as we come down the side decks, step right down into this cockpit. See the main sheet here, sheets off at the base of the mizzen mast, very easy to get to. And the companion hatch going down below. Here we are down below on landfall. In the doghouse here, stepping down in, you've got a quarter berth either side. Make for nice, long, deep, safe berths. And here's the starboard side berth. Each with the little seat here. Quite a nice place to perch if you're uh, off watch or want to get out of the weather. Step down here to the galley. The 
galley's nice and snug, designed to uh, be used at sea. So a safety strap here goes across to hold you in, not very far to fall. Um, this is a removable storage worktop unit. You can come out if you need to get to the engine below. So one and a half bowl stainless sink with the hot and cold pressurized water and a Nelson stove. See here. Quite a lot of storage space in behind. So uh, lots of room to put everything. Um, starboard side, chart desk. So this is a half size Admiralty desk. And uh, you can see faces outboard. Got your instrumentation switchboard and so on here. Below the desk, here is a fridge unit. It's all insulated. Fridge unit, easy to get to from the galley. See this doghouse is very light and airy. Good visibility all round through the windows. So there are bifold doors, double bifold doors here, locked in place with this bronze catch, which come across and close off the saloon, which if you've got more people on board and you're on night watch, night shifts and so on, you can uh, close off the rest of the boat so people can get a good good sleep when they're off watch. Here into the saloon. So we've got starboard side settee berth here. Again, over six foot of berth with lee cloths. Lockers drop down. Got these bungee netting on the back of the uh, locker lids so you can store little bits in there and then big lockers, store your bigger stuff. Shelves above is uh, nice. Gimbal oil lamps here. Um, port side, it's a T berth, L shaped. Around this uh, drop leaf table. See these leaves fold up. Um, space below for your bottles. Similar shelves and lockers on the port side there. Small hatch here above. Gives a bit of ventilation. All this is original joinery. So these sort of catches very much of the period. Hanging locker, and then here more space, drawers, lockers. That's an interesting feature of this boat, quite unusual. So at the forward end of the saloon here, we've got a pair of doors, port and starboard. So starboard side door here, see this one's bolted open at the moment here, into the forepeak. the uh, four peak cabin, two single berths with an infill to make a double. You've got lots of locker space, shelf storage and there's a four hatch there with ventilation and light. And a spurling pipe you can see up forward the black spurling pipe which takes the anchor chain down to the anchor locker underneath the berth. Another hanging locker here. And we move over to this port side door. This opens into the heads compartment. And there's a recently fitted lavac. All new pipe work, seacock service and so on. And then there's another door here which goes into the fore cabin. Here we are, fore cabin door heads so you can actually see right through there into the saloon so what it means is that if you've got people using the fore cabin they've effectively got an ensuite heads or you can close off this and you can use it as the communal heads from the saloon so nice little design feature just making the most of the space in this boat which has got a lot of volume in a
excellent headroom here, well over six foot. Moving back aft to the doghouse, starboard side chart desk, galley, engine is uh, below here, the big Perkins. These sole boards lift up, so this bit is removable. As I mentioned previously, you can get in there and you've got good all-round access right around the engine. And then coming up, back out on deck. 